Hello chaps and chapettes and welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. This is the channel where we take all kinds of weird and wonderful things from all around this beautiful world of ours and put them into a nice top 10 list so you don't have to. Before we get started, I want to ask you guys what was the happiest day of your life? For me, it was either the day I passed my driving test or the day I took my girlfriend to England. But you guys let me know what yours were in the comments below. Japan is famous for Nintendo, Godzilla and wacky as hell inventions. So we got a hell of a lot of weird to work our way through, so let's jump right into number 10 with the baby duster. If you thought babies were cute but a bit of a waste of space, then think again. Now babies can clean as they crawl with these duster pads attached to their clothes. This is totally real. I would say you couldn't make it up, but the inventor clearly did. Your parents love to make you do chores because I bet they would have loved to put this on you when you were a kid. You could have been cleaning before you even walked. What a wasted opportunity. Let's grow up a little bit now for number nine, which is the public transport helmet. Now I'm sure many of you guys might know that the biggest problem of sleeping on public transport is that you might not wake up and just miss your stop. Well, not anymore with this baby. You stick this helmet on, you stick it on the window behind you, and not only does it provide some handy head support for you to snooze away, it also comes with a sign on the front for you to ask fellow commuters to wake you up when you reach your stop. I imagine the reason this didn't take off is because it relies a lot on strangers waking you up to not miss your stop, and it also looks really, really uncomfortable. What a shame, guys. It could have been the greatest invention of our time. Can you guys still hear me okay? Because if you can't, I think you should probably pick up some ear enhancers in at number eight. Now, don't laugh, guys. I'm sure these things will take off. I mean, look at them. They're fashionable, modern, and almost as discreet as a hearing aid. You can also make them at home with a pair of old dog food bowls. And you're not going to get them stolen at all because none of your friends would want them. And you're also not going to have any friends if you own these anyway. But hey, you don't make this list by making friends. You make it by being unusual. And the ear enhancers definitely fit the bill. Guys, what's the best way to not get wet in the rain? Okay, not going outside in the rain is probably number one, but the second best choice is the full body umbrella in at number seven. You'll be the talk of the town with this bad boy. It's 360 degree raindrop coverage with a layer of vinyl that keeps every last bit of water out. Look how protected she is. Look at that woman next to her. She's so jealous. She's like, oh, I hate my parents to buy me this stupid yellow umbrella. I want the full body umbrella like that girl. I hate being mostly dry. I want to be totally dry like her. If you're out there, full body umbrella company, give me a call and I'll advertise for you. I'm just asking for five full body umbrellas. I don't ask for much. If that job doesn't work out for me, then I might become a singer. If only I had some way of practicing without other people hearing me though. Oh my god, we've got silent karaoke at number six. Karaoke is a Japanese invention and it's huge over there. It's great for ruining your favorite songs with your friends as loud as you can. But if you really love it like they do in Japan and you want to do it a lot, then you're going to need to find a way of not annoying everyone around you by practicing. Well, Masanori Kuriyama is the man with the answer for you. He made the silent karaoke which mutes your voice so you can practice anywhere you want. Although you might want to practice a few times in real life before you audition for the voice because you might sound a little bit too quiet. Alright guys, so we've already covered the public transport helmet, but what if you haven't got a seat on the subway? What if you just want to stand up and rest your head? Well, as the old saying goes, where there's a will, there's an unusual Japanese invention for it. We've got the Metro Chin Stick in at number five. Japanese subway systems can be very cramped places indeed, so if you ever find yourself stood on one and you're feeling very tired, then you simply got to have the Metro Chin Stick. It's a very high-tech piece of equipment, being a combination of a tripod and a cushion. Now, it looks great in the pictures, but I'm not too convinced. If you guys have ever been on the subway before, you'll know they tend to do this crazy thing called moving. And sometimes it's hard to even stop yourself from falling over, never mind having to worry about a metro chin stick. I think the fact that I've only ever seen this on the internet says a lot about its commercial success. Alright, one thing that should be a commercial success though is the butter stick in at number four. It's a stick of butter. Butter in a stick. There's not too much to say about it other than why wasn't this invented a long time ago? No more scraping hard chunks of butter onto your toast or having to leave the butter out to melt a bit but then it goes everywhere. No more of that guys, the dark days of spreading butter are behind us. We've truly entered the golden age of stress-free butter spreading. And it's portable guys, you can carry the butter stick wherever you go. If you're on a mate's house and they're like, oh man I need some butter, whip out the butter stick and you're laughing. Trust me, you'll get invited to a lot more parties. And if that doesn't impress people, then our number three definitely will because it's a chopstick mounted food fan. 
You got your chopsticks, check. You got your ramen noodles, check. But oh, it's just so hot. Stick a bloody fan on it, of course. Look at this thing. It's gonna keep your food cool and make you even cooler than you already are. No noodles are too hot for this bad boy. You're not even gonna know what a burnt tongue feels like anymore. Another bonus is if you take the chopstick mounted food fan apart, you have a chopstick and a fan. I know, right? Two for one. All right, our next invention is also a kind of two for one deal and it's the napkin pants. Check these out, guys. Now, I don't want anyone to lie now, I want total honesty. Have you guys ever had something on your hands and wiped it on your pants? No lying. Don't worry about hiding it anymore. In fact, I actually encourage you to do it with the napkin pants. If you don't wipe your hands on your back pockets, then you're doing something wrong. You can use it for food, grease, oil, vomit, blood, and you never have to worry about anyone laughing at you because you can just wipe it all away. Wipe it on yourself for everyone to see and you still kind of have stuff on you, you've just moved it. Yeah, I don't know guys, it might work for some people and it's definitely an unusual Japanese invention, but it's just missed out on our number one spot because that place is taken by the Neko Mimi ears. Put on these cat ears and you can show the whole world how you really feel. The Neko Mimi ears promises to use the most advanced brainwave technology available to detect your mood and then reflect that emotion in your new cat ears. According to the website, if you're focused, the ears perk up. If you're in the zone, they wiggle up and down. And if you're relaxed, well, they just droop right down. Guys, I love this invention because it doesn't take itself too seriously. I mean, who hasn't wanted to be a cat for a day, right? The only problem is once you've bought them and had a laugh with your mates, what are you going to do next? Are you going to wear these things to family events, to work, to school? How are you ever going to talk to your crush without your stupid cat ears giving the game away? Alright, I'll let you guys figure that one out because we've reached the end of our top 10 most unusual Japanese inventions. Guys, let me know which one was your favourite and if I missed any out that you guys know about. Because my god, is there a lot of weird Japanese inventions out there. Alright guys, so let me know what you thought of this video. Also, let us know in the comments what you want us to do next. We'll take the best suggestions and we'll turn them into a video for you. Also, be sure to subscribe if you want to be notified every single time we post the most amazing top 10 video. There's also two others floating right there. If you can give them a click right now, you might enjoy them. In the meantime, guys, my name's Danny Burt. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in a bit.